What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the weekly ranking show where we go through all the ATP and WTA changes in the rankings this week. And we've just completed one of the biggest tournaments in the world, the Madrid Open. And we have some brand new champions who have gained a lot of points, but some players that have also dropped a lot of points. So let's start with the ATP rankings. So some changes to the top 10 for the ATP. Starting at world number one, Novak Djokovic. He gets to stay there. But Rafa Nadal, he drops down one spot to number three and Medvedev retakes that number two position, even though he didn't have a great week last week. Dominic Team, he stays at number four. Stefano Tsitsipas at number five. The Madrid Open champion, Alexander Zverev, he stays at number six with Andre Rublev behind him at number seven. Roger Federer, still yet to play a clay court match in 2021. He's at number eight. But we have a new world number nine with Matteo Berrettini making the final of the Madrid Open. He's gone up one spot to number nine, pushing Diego Schwartzman down to number 10 this week. Having a look at the race to Turin, the race to the ATB finals, and Stefano Tsitsipas, he stays on top with the most points at number one with Andre Rublev at number two. Novak Djokovic stays at number three, closely followed by Daniel Medvedev at number four. But we have some major changes after the Madrid Open with Alexander Zverev rising up three spots to number five, meaning that Karatsev, he drops down to number six. Hubert Hercash drops down to number seven. Matteo Berrettini, he's gone up four spots into the top eight, so he's going to qualify for the ATV finals at this stage. Yannick Sinner's gone down to number nine. That's two spots lower than last week. And Rafa Nadal goes down one spot to number 10 with RBA getting kicked out of the top 10 for this week. All right, taking a look at some of the biggest rises of the week for the ATP and Kasper Rudd. After making a third consecutive clay court ATP 1000 semifinal, he's gone up six spots into the top 20 at number 16. That's a career high ranking for him. And Alexi Poprin, he has also gone up 15 spots to number 61, which is a career high ranking for him as well. Some of the players that dropped down this week, the Miami Open champion, Hubert Hercatch, he's gone down three spots to number 19 this week. And Stan Wawrinka, who we haven't seen for a while because he had surgery, he's dropped down four spots to number 25. Taking a look at the WTA rankings for this week and Ash Barty, she stays at number one for the week after making the Madrid Open final. Naomi Osaka, she's still at number two. Simona Halep is at number three, but we have a new world number four with the Madrid Open champion Sabalenka going up three spots to take the number four spot, bumping down Kennan to number five. Svetolina goes down to number six and Bianca Andreescu down to number seven. So that's a career high ranking for Sabalenka after winning the biggest tournament that she has ever won. Serena Williams stays at number eight this week with Pliskova close behind at number nine. But Kiki Burtons has dropped down seven spots out of the top 10 after failing to defend the points she gained at the 2019 Madrid Open. And Petra Gravitov has gone up two spots to reclaim her top 10 spot at number 10. Taking a look at the race to Shenzhen, the race to the WTA finals, Ash Barty stays on top at number one with Naomi Osaka behind her at number two. But after a great week in Madrid winning that title, Sabalenka has now gone into the top three up two spots from last week to take the number three spot just behind Osaka, bumping down Muguruza, who's now down at number four, and Jennifer Brady now down at number five. Elise Mertens, after a good week, stays at number six. Kudamatova still at number seven, but we have a brand new entry with Mukova. She jumps into the top eight, going up six spots after some really good wins last week, beating, of course, Osaka in Madrid. So at this rate, she's going to qualify for the WTA finals, pushing out Alina Svetolina, who's jumped down to number nine, and Jessica Pagula goes down to number 10 with Serena Williams dropping down six spots completely out of the top 10 the race to the WTA finals let's go look at some of the players that have gone up in the rankings this week on the WTA we have two players that have had great tournaments in Madrid Elise Mertens she's at a career high ranking now at number 14 going up two spots from last week and Paula Badosa who got to the semi-finals of Madrid went up 20 spots to number 42 in the world she's at a career high ranking as well jumping over to the players that have dropped down in the rankings this week we have Tormo even though she's had a great couple of months she has gone down five spots to drop out of the top 50, now at 51. And Sloane Stevens, she drops down 14 spots to number 65 in the world after failing to defend the points that she made by making the semifinals back in 2019 at Madrid. So there's the rankings for the week. A lot of changes, not only for the main rankings, but for the race to the WTA and ATP finals. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most shocked about? Who are you most shocked not seeing in the race to maybe Turin? Dominic Team, he had a great week this week, but he's still not in that top 10 to the race to Turin. So let me know down in the comments below. Who were you most surprised about for this week? So after a big week at the Madrid Open, we have some massive changes for the ATP and WTA rankings.